Hey everybody, uh, today we are going to look at another Wi-Fi outlet. If you read the news or keep up on any tech stuff, you will have heard that uh, Lowe's is shutting down their smart home system, which they call Iris. If you had a uh, Z-Wave compatible unit, they gave you a way to move it all over to the Samsung smart things, but if you were a little ahead of the curve like me and went with the Wi-Fi ones um, or one I only bought this one at the end of March they are shutting the entire Wi-Fi system down so they actually gave me a uh, refund uh, and I get to keep the outlet so I thought since I'm keeping the outlet and it is Wi-Fi let's see what kind of controller it's using and if I can flash it or not to maybe work like the uh, E-Tech City or the Amyson or really any of those um, uh, Smart Life based or ESP8266 based outlets. No idea what's inside this. Um, I started to try to open it. I uh, hit it with a uh, C-clamp to see, make sure it wasn't glued and it's not. So I have not opened this at all. So you guys are going to see inside it when I see inside. So let's try this is what I saw and if this becomes a destructive teardown then so be it. Just as long as the destruction is the outlet and not me putting uh, this through my hand. Okay. So the gray, ah, mm. really chewing it up. I wonder if there's a screw. Nope, mold mark. No other screws. There was something supposed to be here. So they may have glued the, um, the gray part. Let's get a more of a flat head. something I can hit it with. What do I have in here? And I'm in my uh, 3D printer room because I got some prints to do today. So you may hear some echoing. Hey, there we go. Okay, so it was glued. So the chances of this being reused are getting smaller every time I split a little bit more of the plastic. But let's see anyway. Maybe somebody else can, you know, assemble it or do their own and not wreck the uh, casing like I am doing. Look at that. Alright. Here we are. So it is glued. It snaps in and is glued. There's some of that plastic. I might be able to put this back together. It's not going to be pretty because of that, but you know, if it's plugged in, that's all you're going to see. So anyway, let's uh, here you can look at the back. CW1606A 120. Now put 120. There's the MAC address for indoor use only. Sure. And now we're inside. That was hard. What do we have? Is it a Belkin? Maybe? That looks like a uh, power control chip. Not a Wi-Fi chip. Yep. Power control. I'll bet that trips the relay. Or maybe not. Let's get a Phillips. that out of the way. I'm trying a new light today too. I've got this really bright set of uh, 50 watt LED panels. So I'm going to see if they uh, 
think I need them split instead of together. I think I need one on this side and keep that one on that side. Alright, two screws are out. Let's see if we can... There we go. Oh, I see something interesting. See that? That wire? That goes to the controller. So, this is going to be all power supply and relay. So let's go over just kind of a quick where it all goes. So power comes in on the black wire. Nice 16 gauge silicone coated wire. Comes in here, cross that pad into one side of the relay, plus through that little green fuse, which is a, doesn't say. But that fuse is only for the electronics, it is not for the relay. Because when the relay trips, it connects this pad to this pin right here, which is the black wire that goes out to that outlet. So it's just switching the hot. The neutral, neutral looks like it's just passing through like they're all connected I know they're using the neutral for the uh, power supply oh uh, that's what this is this is a power supply control chip this is what's running this uh, transformer inductor or whatever it is some fancy caps on capacitors I'm sure they're good it might be fine but I don't know so that's what it's doing making some power some low voltage which is then going out here and if I had to guess we probably have power ground relay control and then probably some LEDs let's see the uh, relay coil pins probably these two yep they have an opto-isolator right here, which then does go to this bank of pins. So I suspect that's what's driving the relay. So that means I could probably put an ESP8266 in here and flash it with the uh, software to use the Smart Life app. That, uh, that Toya or T to grab that screw. Yep. these three and it all should just kind of fall out alright so now yep there we go now it's all coming out the outlet is falling apart. All the connectors came out. That screw I couldn't get loose came out. And then there's the brain. Let's get this brain board out. This oddly looks like the Wemo to a degree. There's the brain. Let's see, and there's the button. LEDs. Let's see what chip they are using. 
All right, it's got a MAC address on it. Does not say who made it. Although I do see what looks like a USB port. Let's get this, uh, get this thing. Yeah, see that used to line up here. I wonder if this was a charger? Ah, it's just like they used it for multiple things. Because that definitely is a USB pad. So that sticker isn't telling us anything other than the MAC address. Focus. Come on. Let me save that QR in case I need it. Because now we're going to try and peel the sticker off and see if there's anything on the metal. Nope. Man. I wonder what this is. Let's see if these numbers mean anything, but I doubt it. Probably have to take the uh, module off. Maybe we'll do that. Move that sticker. The way it all works though is the power comes in, the low voltage comes in here to drive this. And looks like we do have a little zero ohm resistor that's a fuse. Yeah, looks like got a Wi-Fi antenna spot here too for like one of those uh, little tiny connectors. That's power right here. All for driving this module. Well, if I can figure out what this module is, I'll put it in the description. If not, I will do another video on taking this module apart, this board, taking the module off the board, see if we can ID it. I'll even take that metal cap off and see if that has some chips underneath that we can recognize. But essentially, what these iris outlets are made up of is this stuff right here. You have your uh, main power and power switching. And then it goes to that brain board over there. So that must be so they can do uh, Z-Wave, you know, Zigbee, or Wi-Fi. So what I will do is do a little bit of research. I'm going to see if I can find out what those uh, what those modules are, or what that module is. Or we will desolder it. Otherwise, we will desolder it and see what we can do. I think I think it's probably not an 8266. Um, I will search that MAC address or the MAC ID at E87. Actually, let me uh, get that out of here. So I'm going to go take that to the computer. Come here, sticker. I do like how they put it on the side though, that's convenient. So it wasn't a bad outlet, it worked fine the whole time I had it. I used it to turn an old amplifier that did not have a remote control on and off. And uh, it did great. So, I'm going to see if I can keep it running. If not, I will cram an 8266 in here because there's no reason I can't since that gives us power. And the brain is its own module, so that makes it really convenient. So maybe we'll find out that these iris uh, plugs, the Wi-Fi ones, are hackable and reusable once Lowe's shut them down. So uh, if you have any questions, you know what to do. Put them in the comments. Do the uh, subscribe thing if you don't already have the subscription. If you do have the subscription, I really do appreciate it. Give me, uh, you know, one of those things or the other one or, you know. As always, thank you for watching.